the pin addresses and the stepper driver addresses from your easy 3d x1 3d printer when running clipper how to find them and where to look for if you are going to run clipper on a printer like this in this video i'm going to show you all about it how i solved it using a previous live stream where i digged really deep into the topic finding the solution in order to get some filament printed on this 3d printer so let's get into the video I only need to fine tune several small things, especially the right pins for the whole thing because the X and the Y axis are running, but for the Z axis, I have this little issue. Maybe also on the extruder, it is extruding filament, but it's questionable. I need to make sure to go into a program called Arduino EDI, IDE, Pff, I don't know. I'm taking the latest version. So now we are going to Marlin. Download Marlin 2.1.2.1. I'm going for the current Marlin release. So I will take this one. So that was that. Now I'm going to, uh, to close this. Marlin 2.2.2. You, you go into the Marlin folder and then you go into Marlin. So the folder Marlin, and then after that is done, you are going to, to double click on Marlin.exe or Marlin, but then it brings you exactly into Arduino IDE and uh, you can, you can start using it. Um, so we have a uh, Marlin.ino, we have configuration.h and we have these other two as well. So this is the, uh, the basic information. I would say basic information. Uh, then you have here the configuration.h. This is this is all where it starts. I'm going to see if it is possible to change the layout so that it looks more pleasant. Light, dark. Yeah, ooh, this looks fancy. I like this. Hmm. Let's see what this one does. Kaboom! I need to open an INO file. Somebody said about loading, loading the boards and the pins on tabs. <sighs> yeah, something like that. I don't think that I would need that one. Eventually when everything is loaded, so everything that you saw in that same folder, dude, are you done loading? So this is the whole firmware of the Easy Treat X1 INO file with all boards or all tabs. So it's finally open. So we are going to the configuration.h. We are going to look inside of the brains of this 3D printer. The board that I used for it was the ANET 10 Z3DP Easy Treat X1. Ah, this is already the change version. Now boards.h, I guess. Boards, ramps, and the four? Really? Was the end of four built on a ramps board? Wow. And the CR8? Is that also a thing? Oh my gosh. With each board, it says which kind of chip it is at Mega 1284P. That is the one that I need to have. So we have a Melzi board. We have a Melzi Maker uh, 3D, Coriality, Melzi, Maljen, Maljen, Trunksy. But of course we need this one and it is 69. I also need to check out then the pins at Mega 1284P Sanguino Lolu. I need to check for the pins that I'm also going for the same kind of pins as well. I've got here a pins underscore anet underscore 10 H. That one I need to have. So I click on it and now I should get the pins and there you go Th these are the limit switches so 18 19 and 20 so for the x stop pin it's 18 for the y stop pin it's 19 and for the z stop pin it's 20. there you go for the steppers you have a step a dear and an enable pin and that's for each each stepper motor for the x axis it's 15 21 14 but then when checking out on the clipper printer.config, 
they they are working a little bit differently i have here step pin pd7 it's not really saying which kind of pin that is how the translation is between the printer.config versus the the marlin these are my settings i'm going to take a little picture of it so that i can use it later on i think there needs to be somewhere a you know a translation tool for pin map and then odd mega 1284p rep rep org Here is a generic config for Melzy board. I don't want to have the config. I want to see which kind of pinout that I need. For that reason, I, I always try the pictures because I need to have an image of the, not really board layout, but actually to see where the pins go. And so, uh, motor control. Oh, this is going to be fun. Now, so this mode control X, if I'm looking to this for the X, X stepper motor, yeah, we have 15, 21, 14, direction 14. The step is 11. Yeah, here it says 15, but this is for a Melzy board. Oh, wait, wait, PA7, PA6. This is, this is going, wait yes that would look like that but it's aligned this should be aligned with this so the pb7 pb6 pb5 did i did i see a pb5 i do see a pc5 yeah p oh yeah oh wait 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 yes so we have a step pin pc6 do we see that pc6 yes that is a step pin and the PC7 is the direction pin. We are getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. So this is for the Y, st uh, y step motor. They have a PC5 and a PC4. 26, Y, there. Zagri 3D prints on the quest to find the solution. We take a pen. I've got a phone holder here. I don't see it. But my print is, printer is at this moment a phone holder. We have 40 x axis we have x axis we uh we have the step pin step pin i'm not going to write down what clipper says that i have i want to find it out right on here and see which kind of pins that that should be and then later on i can you know compare it we have a direction pin that is the second one and we have an enable for the y axis and the same thing i'm also going to do for the extruder since each printer has four stepper motors and the normal cartesian style 3d printers so um, y axis we have the uh, step pin we have the direction pin there pin and we have the enable pin for the z-axis we have the uh, step pin we have the uh, direction pin we have the enable and for the extruder and also here because it is a step motor it has also the same pins direction and the uh, enable so now I can can go and look which kind of pin I need for which kind of thing. Z enable, Z enable, Z enable is PA5. Then we have the Z step that is PB3. The direction pin is right underneath that is PB2. Then I see here E step, so the extruder. Since we have written down that, we also do it there as well. So the step pin, that is P, 
PB1 and the direction pin is PB0. I have noticed when I was doing the other ones uh, in the past that most of those pins are together here. For example, PB3 and PB2 from the Z axis. For the extruder, PB1 and PB0. It all makes sense. The E step and the E direction. Now we see here 26 Y there or the Y axis. Direction pin is PC7. For the step is PC6. For the X axis, we have only a there at this moment. That is PC5. The Z stop is PC4. The pins are also mentioned. So maybe it's a good idea to also add those end stops. I see it here. I see three times a stop for the Z, Y and X axis. So I can write them all down at the, uh, at the same time. So a PC4, PC3 and PC2. So that makes total sense. So for the Z axis, it's PC4. For the X axis is PC2. Then we have for the X step, we have PD7. I see something interesting right here. If you also see it, let me know. For the X step, PD7. And now I see here X enable. So the PD7 enable is for the X, Y and extruder the same so the enable pin for the x pd6 for the y it's also pd6 extruder it is also pd6 that is a lot of information that i now can work with on the config file so we are going to into the printer config file and we are going over the whole thing. And since I have combined them all together, I can now just check it. So the step pin for the x-axis, PD7. The direction pin is PC5, but I have a exclamation mark before it to change the direction. Then the enable pin is PD6. That is correct, but I have an exclamation mark in front of it. Is that really needed? That is something that I need to try out a little bit later. For the enable stop, we have PC2. We have a little, I think a little hat and an exclamation mark, bang, PC2. So that's correct. Then we have the Y axis, PC6, correct. Bang, PC7, that's correct. Bang, PD6, also correct. Wow, bang, PC3, for the uh, end stop pin. Also that is spot on. And now we are going to the Z axis. For the step pin, it is PB3. The direction pin is bang PB2. For the enable pin, I have bang PA5. For the end stop, I have bang PC4. For the extruder, the step pin is PB1. The direction pin is bang pb0 and the enable pin is bang pd6 so i'm wondering this bang changes the direction of the whole thing but what if i'm going to take it away and see what is going to happen is it going to work is it not going to work well let's find it out shall we save and restart let's see what is going to happen start up looks all fine let's uh let's check what the stepper motors are going to do and we are going to see what is going to happen so i feel that the motors are energized even though there is no action so that means that the enable pin should be as expected being bang with then the pin number so let's change that back now I can move it. That's what that one works. The Y axis. There's the end stop. It moves backwards. This one went that side. So that is good for the Z axis. Nothing happens. So that actually didn't work. If I change this in full steps per rotation to 400, would that be? You see also here getting an asterisk so that means that i did a change on it let's uh let's 
do it again and let's home the printer and for the z-axis i see movement here i see the printer going up the printer is going up i'm all, almost there and the printer config he was moving up so i it needs to go down the direction i need to take the bang away the full steps per rotation is 400 let's say like this i have changed the full steps per rotation from 200 to 400 let's double it to 800 and see what is going to happen let's see uh what happens so everybody thank you so much for watching please like this video share this video with other people and on social media if you want to support this channel uh, financially on a monthly base, there is Patreon and there are also YouTube tiers where you can choose from. You can also give me one time and thanks, that is also very nice. But the best way to support this channel without spending any money at all is subscribing and liking this video and also share it with other people as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Peace. Bye bye.